So I've been having an issue with this truck for, fuck, probably about maybe two months now. At first I thought it was the fuel filter or the pump, so I replaced the filter in the pump. I'll filter first to see if that was it, and then I did the pump after. It didn't clear up. And it turns out that wasn't it. I didn't have any codes, any security codes or any security lights. And um, I did the fuel pump, fuel filter, couldn't do anything. I did the security reset and got it going a couple of times. But I wasn't liking that because, you know, it takes 30 fucking minutes to do it. And when you got to go somewhere, that's no bueno. But um, long story short, waited a couple weeks and then I got it going, drove a couple times and I scanned it and a code came up that wasn't there originally when I did the fuel pump that was for security. And it was pretty much the uh, the resistance value low. It didn't specifically say that, but that's what it was. And uh, couldn't figure it out. I thought maybe someone hacked the wiring. Because I have this switch down here. But uh, what I ended up doing was... I cut... It seems sketchy, and I was, I didn't do this for the last two weeks because I was scared. But now that I know it works, whatever. I cut these two wires, the yellow and the orange. They're not going to be the same color, most likely. They're different on different models. But I cut the two left wires. You want, The red one on the right is always going to be the same. And if it's not, I wouldn't attempt this at all. Um, don't cut the red wire. Cut the orange and the yellow. And I recommend cutting it down here or taking this piece off and cutting it over here because it feeds under right here. You can almost see the wires in there. But um, So I cut the wires, spliced them together, and then I did the security reset. And the security reset pretty much is you try to start the truck and it doesn't start. So you try to start it and it's not going to start and you want to let go of the key. And it'll automatically go to the on position and the security light will start flashing. And if you have other lights on, like the battery or the, I don't know, four-wheel drive, whatever, those will flash in a sequence. And uh, so try to start it, let go, and then set a 10-minute timer as soon as you let go and it doesn't start. And once the 10 minutes is up, I'd get in the truck a little bit early before 10 minutes and wait until that security light goes off. And uh, once it goes off, you want to turn the ignition off for people say five to 20 seconds it doesn't really matter it needs to be more than five seconds i recommend around 10 to 15 it, it's really not precise the only thing that's going to happen if you try to start it a little bit early is the security light's not going to be on when it doesn't start so you have to turn it off and let it almost reset and you want to do that three times so you want to start it not going to start so leave it in the on position for 10 minutes until the security light starts stops flashing turn it off into the off position for 15 to 20 seconds and then try to start it again and then set the timer and then do that three times and then on the third attempt it should start and if not do it one more time and it will start depends on how you count it um that's pretty much it i'm very glad that that worked because i was reluctant on driving my truck most places just because i didn't want to get stranded and now that i did this i don't really care there's also another method that i'll show you in a second so I'll start this right now. As you can see it started right up. And I can even unplug this. You should be able to. Oh yeah, see it's unplugged. It's still running. That's not how a normal truck would react to unplugging that. It would usually stall out. As you can see, the security light's still gonna be on. And I also have the service four-wheel drive. But what you wanna do if you don't want the security light on is you wanna measure the resistance between these two wires and you want to get a resistor that's close to the resistance that you measured from these two wires and you want to attach the resistor between these two wires and that should mimic the factory resistance that was sent to the pass lock fucking thing over here I don't even know what it is honestly and uh, turn off the security light so that's pretty much it um, yeah this should work on all, uh, I wasn't sure if it was going to work on my 99 because I had the older style ignition and uh, a couple things are different, but this thing is a 99 Silverado 
I should even be able to show you. Yeah, four ninety nine. So this should work from a 99 newer body style up to 2007 classic body style. And it might even work for the uh, older and newer ones. I'm not sure on that. But I know for a fact it works from at least 99 to 2007 classic body style. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.